this would be a BK. Blah, BK I said that wrong. A BK Mocha Ice Coffee review. I said would be for three dollars. How much was it? Three eighty-two, I think. No, three dollars and eighty-one cents. Now I would do a BK Mocha Ice Coffee review. Three dollars and eighty-one cents. But by the time I got out the front door of the truck stop to my front door of my 18-wheeler house, I already drunk all the fucking thing up and there all that's left is ice. I drunk it up that fast. Because they put it in this little fucking cup and it wasn't even worth it. I gave it four stars. It's a great drink. But for $3.81, I needed like a bigger one. I like, like triple the size for $3.81. Come on, Burger King. This isn't fucking Starbucks, you cheap fucks. You should be ashamed of yourself. For $3.81, I expect something to triple this size. Are you fucking kidding me? $3.81 for this? I had the motherfucker drunk up before I got to my truck. There's still a little bit left. Okay, I'm trying to get my straw down there. There's still a little bit left. Hold on. Got to get my money's worth. <clears throat> Got to get my money's worth. There's this truck out here. It's like stopped. It's kind of like... Not jackknife, but uh, out of... It's kind of like over there. It's like jacked a little bit. He has like... His rims are fucked up. I don't know. He's in the parking lot right now. He can't move his truck because his rims are fucked up. And two of his rims on his trailer are fucked up. I mean, they're like all bent to hell. The tire's coming off of him. I don't know what the hell he did. I don't know how the hell he did it. But he's been sitting here for like a half an hour. I'm not going to point my camera at him because it's dark out and you really can't see him that well. Unless I put the flash on, but I only can put I can only put the flash on when it's when the camera's pointing that way. Not like selfie like it is right now. So but anyway, I don't want, you know, whatever. I don't want to put the guy on blast or anything. I feel sorry for the guy. I do. I feel sorry for the guy. He's got two busted rims. This parking lot at this truck stop isn't the greatest. I mean, they got like a, a lot of chuck holes and fuck holes and slut holes and Veronica Clark holes and you know, shit like that. I, I went in low gear. The lowest gear going through these chuck holes. I wasn't fucking tearing up my rim. But I don't know. I... He, he he was like that before I got here, so. Shut up. Damn voltage. He's, the fucking batteries. Takes nothing to drain them. I gotta, I gotta charge my batteries. Okay, never mind. But anyway, I seriously feel sorry for this guy. I really do. I mean, I, I've been in situations like that where I've had a blowout and there was one time, uh, I've had a blowout a couple of times. It sucks. There was one time I was driving through, uh, US 93, which goes from Vegas to Phoenix. And this was on a Friday night. This is like probably year and a half ago I heard the explosion and I was stuck out there if you're familiar with Arizona it was way out there in the middle of nowhere no cell service on my phone thank god I have I have a couple of backup phones like track phones that get service anywhere thank god for that because my main phone gets no service out there I got a track phone that 
could pretty much get service anywhere. Thank God for that. So I had to have to call a tire man to come out. It was on US 93. I'm talking out in the middle of freaking nowhere. I'm talking way up north of, uh, like south of I-40, but north of, uh, what the, what's the hell is that town up there? Starts with a Y, not Yuma. Fuck, I can't, no, it starts with a W, not Wilcox. Not Winslow. What the fuck? I have to look at my damn map. Welma? No, I don't know. It's right up there between... I don't know. What the fuck? Look at my map real quick. I can't think of the name of this town. I lived in Arizona for five fucking years. For six fucking years. But anyway, that's where I was out there. I'm freaking nowhere. Get into this town. You know what I'm talking about. Wickenburg, yeah, Wickenburg. Once you get out of Wick, which, once you go north of Wickenburg, there's like nothing, and I mean nothing, until you get to I-40. There's that little town Wiki up, which is like a little small truck stop with like ten spaces to park. But that's about it. But I was like way up there north of uh, that Arizona 71 junction. I mean, I was way out there. This happened like a year and a half ago. I had to wait like two hours for the fucking tire man to come out. I was stuck on the side of the road. It sucks. It sucks. I know. So I feel sorry for this guy. I really do. He's got two busted rims on his trailer. And oh my God, it sucks. I'm watching him right now. He's He's been sitting there for like 40 minutes. I mean, I feel sorry for this guy. God be with him. But anyway, BK Mocha. This small little shit cup for $3.81. This is fucking ridiculous. I mean, shit. Never again, Burger King. Never again. I'm not going to go to Starbucks. They don't like conservatives. They, they make fun of Donald Trump supporters. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm never going there. Another day in my life. I went there once, long time ago, just to see what I, what I was missing. I decided, well, I'll just see what the fuck I'm missing. I went in there, Jesus Christ, I wanted to fucking smack people over the head. They're talking so stupid. I do not understand that liberal talk they're talking inside there. They're just, oh my God, I want, I, I had to get out of there. My fucking mind grain was kicking in from the stupidity of listening to the fucking conversations inside of a fucking Starbucks. I mean, the stupidity coming out of the fucking mouth was like, goddamn. I couldn't take it. That was the only time I went to a Starbucks. It was in Royal Oak, Michigan. Off uh, Woodward, 13 Mile Road. At the Woodward Dream Cruise uh, a couple of years ago. Oh my God, I couldn't take it. I had to get the fuck out of there. I ordered a... Uh, what the hell was it? An iced tea. For like five bucks. It was like a black iced tea. It was pretty fucking good. Well, I never spent another penny there. That was the one time and only time I went to Starbucks. Fuck you. I'm a Donald Trump. Hey, I had my Donald Trump hat on too. They're giving me weird looks. I was getting so dirty. I had my Donald Trump hat on as I, as I went in there. And I was getting some fucking dirty looks. Holy shit. They were, they were looking at me like... Like a gay person looks at a guy. They were looking at me like a, like a, a guy looks at a woman. They're checking out her ass. They were looking at me like... It was just sickening. I thought they were checking me out. Well, they were checking me out. It was... It was horrifying, the looks I was getting. I mean, I felt molested. They were literally eye-molesting me because I had a Donald Trump hat on. They were fucking eye-molesting me. I felt so molested. I never felt like that, like that way in my life, ever. I mean, I felt like a child molester was molesting me. I mean, it was sick. The way that their eyes were looking at me, because I had a Donald Trump hat on inside Starbucks, it was horrifying. I ain't never been so fucking scared in my life. I'll never go inside of another Starbucks. Fuck that shit. I'd rather play in fucking 
traffic and on the freeway. But anyway, that was a horrifying experience. Jeez. Anyway, BK Mocha. No, no more. If that's what I'm going to get for $3.81, forget about it. Anyway, this is Raging Rob.